Welcome everybody, this is your boy Jordan Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, Foxy, and even Denty. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install your single player garage mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require lemon UI so I will leave this inside my description below so make sure that you guys do download lemon UI don't forget to download enable all interiors and I will leave this inside my description below as well so let's get started once you have finished downloading all of your files go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location this next step is crucial. Make sure that you go to your scriptwork.v.ini file and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. Make sure that you do save it. Next, make sure that you do have scripts folder. Make sure that you rename it all lowercase as well. Open up your scripts folder. And now as you can see, my scripts folder is completely empty. So let's get started. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN2 folder. And now select all the files and now drag it inside your scripts folder. Now this is optional, but open up your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder and exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. Open up that folder and open up this folder. Now all you got to do is select all the files except for the load down text file. Then drag it inside your skits folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your single player garage mod extract folder. Open up this folder and this folder. And now all you got to do is select all the files and folder except for the text file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Wait for a few seconds and then now all you got to do is replace your files. And now exit out your extract folder. Now the last step is go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back in the game, so as you can see my game just froze, and see now as I go in the game. So before you do anything, go to your contacts on your phone, and now go right down to the bottom. Now the first thing that you must do let's go to enable interiors now once you have done that then go to change an interior then now you can enable whatever business you want to enable but I'm going to skip all this and go right down to the bottom to misc options and now go to load MP maps and now change that to true now next go and enable blips as well and change that to true now this is optional but I always do this 
change this one over here to true go back out and then go to refresh interiors wait for a few seconds then back out again and now all you got to do is go on your keyboard and press insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds don't worry so now let's go and have a look and have a look at the mod so when you go to the map okay you'll see a few things over here okay um so the garage that we are going to test this mod is over here we're gonna test the mod inside this garage over here and now we are here at the location we are at this garage over here which is basically over here somewhere so once you're inside the garage over here okay now you can just come over here to the marker and now it will tell you what to do and um you can save your vehicle by pressing e or press q to enter so as you can see i've got no car but when you press q on your keyboard you'll teleport inside the garage now you will need to wait for a few seconds okay for the mod to actually load okay then there you go so yeah this mod 100% works i really like this mod but if you want to save a vehicle you can go to your vehicle and now on your keyboard press q to save and now press hang on press q to save and now you can press e to take the car out for a ride and now you can take the car out for a ride pretty cool but if you want to take the car back inside the garage you can and then now you can just take it back in the garage if you want to and now just come and hover over the marker and press uh, hang on right press q and then now you're totally put back inside the garage and as you can see the car is back over here again so that's pretty cool guys so i hope you guys do enjoy this mod and we're back again so i hope you guys do enjoy the mod but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. I do have a Discord server. My Discord server is inside my description below. So go and check that out and make sure that you do verify by PC modding support. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out